you know, obviously you're playing a hero that has matrix that can and often will and should be used to peel your backline. Like I look at the enemy comp right now and I see Genji Samba and I'm thinking, okay, if that dashes my backline, I might prefer my Diva's Matrix on my backline rather than my Diva diving their backline, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't sometimes do both, right? You can position in a position where you're clearing out the DPS, you're marking their DPS, you're aggressively pushing them out, and then when you need to, you can peel back and, and Matrix your backline. I also have been a little confused about sometimes I'm like, do I counter dive who's diving us or do I go dive their backline while they're not there? I well, just... let's think about it. Let's think about it. What What is your kit best used for? Diva's Matrix is a really good peel tool. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I feel like she can do pressure in the back line, not as effectively as Winston, but she's better at Winston at peeling. Okay. So it's a little bit of both, right? So you're definitely yeah. more peeling. It is a little bit more dynamic. And that this is something you're going to have to get used to with Overwatch 2, where there is not always a very clear, this is exactly what the identity of the class is, because there are that's the, that's the entire design philosophy, right? Diva can dive, Diva can also peel. And for you, it might, I might look at this and be like, okay, I'm in a great position. They're on a just use sleep and aid. I'm going to go kill their backline. Or they have nano blade. I can't do anything about that. So I'm going to go trade backline. Or I'm in a perfect position. Their Sombra has EMP. I can clear her out instantly because I have my micro missiles. Like it's going to just mm -hmm. depend. And this is where you have to be so, so attentive to the situation uh, and not create hard rules for yourself. There's fewer hard counters in Overwatch, but there's also fewer direct black and white play styles in Overwatch. That's what you have to remember an honor or on a genji or paying attention okay this is cheeky <laughs> I, I, I love this okay okay to be clear i'm not 100 sure if this is the best play but i just okay. i love i love the stress testing here i i have so much respect for this okay what is good about this let's 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 consider the good before we before we bring it back to, down to earth well, my goal with this was to like get their team to entirely turn around so that my damages who are like okay. getting back can just pressure them. I don't know. Like, I, I, this is where it's like, I think this is, you are doing the play correctly. I just don't know if it's the best play. With this amount of HP, maybe playing more aggressively is something that's more along the spectrum, right? Like this is something that's better, right? Okay, so like, I wonder if you're, if you're here, like, do you see the trade that you're getting here? It's you and Genji forcing the attention of how many people? Uh, four, maybe even, I mean, yeah, four, not the song. Just four, but... four th initially three, and then it turned mm, into four. Yeah, it's getting cleared up. So I want to know, how did this look like over here? I want to see how this looked like. Okay, she gets hacked. Moira turns around. But do you see how the, look at the Arisa. Look at the Arisa. Do you see what she just does? She just 180 uh, is out of there. Yeah. Yeah, you see this? And your mm -hmm. team is able to peel this off because who are they dueling right now? Uh, me and Genji as well. Right, and then who are you? Who's your backline dueling? One Sombra. Yeah, so they're probably safe. Oh, and they're Genji. And they're Genji, and and look at this. These guys are killable too. That Sombra almost dies. The Genji yeah. almost dies. And look at your HP. It's uh pretty full. Pretty darn full, you know. And this is this is after shooting the stupid Genji when you should have been shooting the Ana too. So you, you didn't yeah. even play this engagement well, but this still looks okay. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I think you could even look at this as like, okay, I have a Moira on a backline. Theoretically, I should just instantly die to a Sombra. Uh, maybe if you're mm -hmm. playing Zenyatta Mercy, maybe I have a different uh, line of thought for you. You kind of see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But I see your backline is being relatively tanky and shouldn't instantly die to a Sombra. So maybe I like what you did. Mm -hmm. Comps have changed dramatically, yes. actually. So you tell me the impact of them as simply as you can, right? Because because it's just not like at, at your rank, you're probably barely pressing tab anyway. So I'm going to be happy mm -hmm. if you press tab once every 60 seconds. It's just give me a one sentence rundown of what you have to do. What do you have to do? Uh, let's see. It looks like you got 10 seconds. Well, both... Okay. Uh, I have to get on top of their soldier because he just does a lot of damage. I watched you and he has a mercy pocket. Okay. Stop right there. Perfect. So, yeah. Okay. There's no somber, right? Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? I don't have to anticipate dives as much. I yep. can pressure their yep. long range hero more. Right, very similar to the previous Diva review, right? Mm -hmm. Less peel, more aggression, more Winston-like play. Let's uh, let's see what we go. What kind of comp would you say you have? What's your priority, or what do you what do you need to be aware of? We're definitely a long range comp that wants to like out position them, like don't let them get on top of us. We just how do you stop that? Them. How do you help with that? 
I would want to be watching for. Well, I didn't know they had Monkey yet, but if I listened, maybe I would. But I would want to be like back and ready to boop their monkey out of bubble, yeah. and then just pressure him. Mark their, and their echo. Mark their monkey. Yeah, mark their right. echo. Lucy does something stupid. Mark that too. If you have an opportunity to pressure the soldier out of an aggressive angle, do that too. Is on a Lucio like the the easiest thing for you to pressure now? No, I mean their Lucio is really slippery. Yeah. But... Did you yeah. see how like this is where like I would not want to play monkey versus this. I would ra much rather play diva versus this. You can make that monkey's yeah. life absolutely miserable. Um, I will say. Okay, go ahead. I feel like I messed up this first fight because I didn't listen to the, that they had a monkey, so I kind of engage and then their monkey destroys us basically. You didn't even see him. Yeah, you didn't even react. That's rough. Because again, are you getting value doing this? I mean, I think, yes, I'm just, like, their team can't also follow up on the monkey dive, but, I'm not, I mean, we ended up, I think we lost this fight, so I don't know, but it feels like the right play, because they're Ana and Soldier are looking at me. Yeah, it's okay, but honestly, like, the echo. how much value is an Ana Soldier going to get from their positions that they were currently in? Let's play this again. Fair enough. Soldier, yeah. is Soldier useless here? No. No, he's But who's choking. the bigger threat to your team? The bigger threat is the duo of Monkey Echo that can definitely yeah. kill someone. And is Ana doing anything right now? She's doing. She's just pushing cart, basically. She's doing nothing. So this isn't about, oh, you need to go for Soldier over Echo, or you need to go Echo over Soldier. If this Soldier... What if this Soldier was here? What would be your priority? That would be, that would be a really dangerous... I would have to go yeah. on him because he has yeah. a huge angle. Yep, 100%. See what I'm saying? Do you see how it's not so much about, like, oh, I need to prioritize Winston Echo. Yeah, it's yes, all about the situation. But no, it's more about who's more aggressive at that point in time. Okay, who's the threat, basically? Right. These guys don't. The soldier. Okay, I get it. It's not good, but it's okay. But these guys, they're these guys, threat. they're on top they're of your team. Someone. And the thing is, it's, it's risk versus reward. They they should not only should you peel your team versus these guys, but they should die for this. Yeah. They should die for this. Or is so that soldier? Yeah, the soldier's not killable. Realistically, he's not. You yeah, can clear them, exactly. that's value, but it's not the most value. So this is not a bad play, but it is not the best play. Not by a long shot. And, has not, and you're thinking, oh, I'm getting two for one, but then the question is, how much are those two doing? One Winston right now it is doing... basically... Right, one yeah, Winston is doing more than three members of the enemy team right now. Mm-hmm, okay. I Waste Matrix, probably. Go down. Second. Yeah. Did you do your job? I cleared him out, so yeah, yeah even Look though I didn't kill him, it's full, so yeah. I can keep going. Wow, do you need to keep going? I don't need to. I could go on someone else. Who's aggressive right now? The Echo. Yeah, he, right. You don't even know, really, do you? No, I don't know. I mean, like, watching the replay, I know it's the Echo, but at this point, I definitely didn't know in so, game. So this is the balance that you always have to get out. Do you remember when you were attacking and you went, we ignored the Genji Sombra to go for their backline? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. What's the difference between doing that now and doing that then? This is very important that you understand this. The positions are definitely different. Uh, doing it now, the Ana's not getting as much value. Like she's she's just popping some heal shots. She's pushing carb. It's really about what you just said first. There, the Ana here doesn't really pose a threat to anybody or anything. Once the soldier's on cart, he doesn't really pose a position to anybody or anything. When you are on attack, this Orisa and Ana were looking to push aggressively with the dive, and they were a threat. Yeah. You see that? The Ana's nade, yeah. the Ana's damage, the Orisa's damage. So you now have taken all the positions on defense, cleared them from attacking your positions, and are actively being assaulted on your good positions by the Echo and Lucio, and you're focusing on people okay. that are no longer not even a threat to you at all. So D.Va has to focus a little more on making sure we have the good positions on defense instead of trying to kill right. the on on car. Right. I oftentimes look at Winston as better at punishing enemy supports and D.Va as protecting your DPS or like basically protecting your space once you have it. Right. Yeah. Attentiveness, right? We talked about the anticipating mm -hmm. the Sombra, right? Good. Again, why are you going for Echo here? Because I knew she was diving our Ash. I was trying to it, right. save it, her and let the Ash kill her. Right. It, it's, it's, she's feeding. Right? She's yeah. feeding. You can kill this target. It's, again, it, without overthinking it, it's who is the most aggressive member on the enemy team that I can punish, and then punish it. She should die for that. There we go. 
what are your priorities as a diva player i'd say i want to find the aggressive people even the ones that might be feeding punish them if they're trying to take space away from our team i want to make sure we can hold that space if they're trying to take space like get a flank or something i want to deny them i can just sit on high ground to like draw attention and deny long-range people from getting those positions yep i want you to experiment right Mark the monkey, mark the echo. If we're on attack, try diving backline and see if you get a good angle on them, right? Okay, how, how can, can you get away with leaving your backline if you're playing a Zen Mercy versus a Somber? Can you not? Okay, so then how do I still get value without just permanently sitting inside of my backline, right? So I think you have a lot of good ideas. I want you to keep testing it. Right now, you just need, you need repetitions more than you need anything else.